I now ask you to remember a, a scripture passage that has been powerful for you. In the Aboriginal world, when you have fasted or prayed in a particular place, you often take a rock or a branch from that area and keep it in your room back home. In the course of the year, especially when you may be struggling, you look at or pick up the rock or branch and reconnect yourself with the graces you were blessed with during that prayer time. I think special passages from Scripture should be like that for us as well. They are beautiful in that the passage has the power to shift us from a place of anxiety and self-absorption to a place of peace and trust. The power also lasts in that years later we can recollect that passage and still be touched by the grace of that encounter with God years ago. One example from my own spiritual journey was back when I was in the seminary. I was always a reluctant vocation. I desired to be a good Christian, but I was not very eager to be a priest. I appreciated being at the seminary and the tremendous gift of studying theology, but I was really hoping to have a wife and family. My wrestling with God came to a head in the second year theology. I was arguing with God that if I became a priest, I would become lonely and bitter, and so I wouldn't be able to help anyone. I remember that prayer time and reading from the first chapter of the book of James. And when I read the line, you will lack nothing. It just had that power to convict me and stay with me that only God's word possesses. For me, it was a promise from God that any time I freely choose to respond to his call, I will lack nothing that I truly need. Certainly, I will not lack love. Certainly not significant relationships. I would now ask you to take a moment to think of a significant passage of Scripture in your journey of discipleship. Maybe from your wedding or significant funeral. It may be from the lyrics of one of your favorite hymns. Whatever phrase or line has had the power of God's word for you. So like picking up that branch or stone, I invite you now just to think of that phrase in Scripture and just to let that grace of God be with you. We're going to practice taking a moment of silence. Now don't get too uncomfortable. We'll take a little moment to reflect on a powerful word of scripture for us. Mm -hmm. 